guys, it's Anglers Anonymous here. Thanks for watching another video. So I just got a brand new precision rifle. It's a Remington 700 TCR. And it's my first time taking it out to shoot it. So I'm zeroing it at 100 meters in the video. I'm brand new at shooting in general. I just started getting into it about a month ago. So bear with me and watch the video until the end and let me know how I do. Leave comments down below. Let me know how I can improve and get better at this. I'm an absolute noob, so please, please, please bear with me and uh, take it easy. <laughs> but uh, looking forward to hearing your guys' comments in the comment section down below on how I could get better. So I'm looking into getting into long range precision shooting and of course a little bit of hunting. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, please watch till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, we're here at the gravel pits. I'm gonna sight in my new rifle. Do what? It's a Remington 700 PCR. I just got it. Um, it's actually bore sighted right now for about 100 yards. At my house, um, I can use the field behind it to bore sight. Uh, up to 100 yards and I've done that already on this guy uh, however I can't discharge firearms where I live so I haven't actually shot it yet but I'm here at the gravel pits right now and we're gonna do that I've got a target set up down over that ways right now I'm just gonna take some measurements and measure out for 100 yards and uh, we'll take some information for our dope sheet so um, I've got a rifle here that shoots 6.5 Creedmoor um, loaded up right there right now. I've got a Vortex Diamondback tactical uh, bipod that's 6 to 24 by 50. Yeah, like I said, it's a Vortex Diamondback tactical 6 to 24 by 50. I set the zeros already here on the turret um, just with the bore sight at 100 yards. Uh, the only thing I've done to it was add the Vortex flip up uh, scope covers there um, and I put on a Caldwell 9 to 13 inch bipod and um, yeah I didn't uh, just made a little shooting sock there on my own and that's about it that's the only thing I've done to the gun so far um, I've cleaned the barrel already and uh, should have quote-unquote broken in the barrel by now so let's take some measurements and get this thing sighted in Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just walking, taking the measurement up to 100 yards. Right now, I got this nice uh, app on my phone that does that for me. It's pretty convenient. So we're just gonna walk out there to where the target is and see how far it is to where I've got the rifle set up back there. Okay, we're set up here at 100 yards. Okay, I keep saying yards, but I'm actually doing this in meters. Let's see where we end up on that target up there. Actually, I should say 100 meters. It's 100 meters, not yards. Yeah, we'll shoot a uh, maybe a three round group and see. Okay, we'll go one more round. We're gonna dial it in just because I want to make sure. Okay, so we'll take a walk out there, take a look at where the targets landed. Looked like the hit uh, 
little bit high, so I might have to dial down a little bit, but uh, let's go take a look. So it's a tiny bit windy today, uh, but we're in an area where there's a lot of trees all over. So we're pretty shielded from the wind. And when you're shooting at 100 yards, 100 meters, the wind doesn't really affect it anyways at, uh, at that distance. So should be okay. From what I could see from the scope, it was shooting a tiny bit high, just off of the center when I was aiming dead, dead center at the target there in the middle. But uh, let's, have a, let's have a quick look. Okay, there's our three round group right there. First shot, second shot, and third shot right there. So that's about, yeah, that's about an inch, a little bit less than an inch grouping right there. So let's take a look at where we need to go. We need to go one, we need to go half, average is about here, half down, one and a half down and half to the left, I would say. And uh, let's take a look at that. So we'll make the adjustments, walk back and make the adjustments. Okay, the second group, this is the first one. The second one was here, but I think that was a flyer. Um, and then the third shot was right there. So we're getting close, average about there. I need to come up about half and uh, come right about half and I think we should be good. So let's head back, make the adjustment and then uh, and we'll shoot this one this time. Are we having a race? Race back to the truck, come on. Yeah. What? It's a race, let's go. You stay in the truck again while I shoot, okay? Come on, inside. I want to... Okay, so I've dialed it to be about half, half, a min half an inch to the right and half an inch back up. So let's give this a shot, let's go. Okay, that looked like a pretty decent group. Let's go have a look. Come on, baby. Uh, well, I don't know about the tightness of the group, but that was the first That's shot. That was the second shot. And this was the third shot, which I think was pretty much a flyer. The average would be pretty much right there. So it might just be something that I'm screwing up with the uh, shooting fundamentals. Because these two look pretty decent and then this one is just, I don't know, it's way off. The first group I shot was this, which was pretty good. So the second group was this. I know this one was a flyer for sure. But I think I'm pretty much right there. So let's do another group and let's give it another shot. That looked pretty decent. Let's have a look. All right, fourth group. First shot was here. Second shot was here. And third shot was right there. So, I think we're right on height-wise. Um, we need to move left. 
by one uh, one uh, one inch, I think, and we're gonna be okay. But I think height-wise, we're okay. So we're almost there, I think. Um, let's give it a shot. Oh, I really want to save those extra three bullets, but I just want to give it another try. Maybe just do one shot. And then we just save just the one bullet for, for this weekend. Or I'll just go and pick up some more ammo, I guess. Hopefully the ones I already ordered arrives before then, but if not, then I'll have to make my way down to the store and uh, just pick up some more ammo, even though I already ordered some that, uh, that I'm waiting on. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Okay, let's do this. Let's do the adjustments here. What I say left, another half. And height, I think, is okay. So, leave it up there, height wise. Let's go. Give this another shot. Well, that's it. I'm out of ammo, so I hope that's good. Okay, let's see how this went. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's not bad at all. Right there. I need to just right, just half, and I think we got it. We're pretty much on. Height-wise is decent. Height-wise is good. We'll just go uh, right by half an inch, and and I think we're good. Or not even half an inch so maybe just like one minute of angle click um, to the right the scope that I'm using is one fourth uh, minute of angle clicks per click so yeah it should be yeah it's just it's about one inch 400 yards so that should be just one click to the right and I think we're good I am out of ammo though so we're gonna pack this up and I'll review these targets at home, make some notes, and uh, get some more ammo, and then we'll do this again because I need to build my my dope sheet. So we got a lot more shooting to do before that dope sheet is completed. And then, uh, yeah, I want to start being able to do some real long distance stuff. So I'll start at 100 yards and work my way up eventually, be able to shoot a thousand yards plus, hopefully. So let's go. Thanks for watching guys. If, uh, if you guys enjoyed this content, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos because I'm gonna keep on doing this and uh, you can watch me on my journey to be able to shoot a thousand yards. So hang tight, hang on. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but it's gonna take a lot of practice and a hell of a lot of bullets. So hang tight and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so just got home. Um, want to show you guys the summary of my shot groups here so this is my first first group this was from just being bore sighted at 100 meters um, as you can see I was aiming for here shot group went uh, was a uh, was a little bit high so the adjustments I made after this group it's, it's a pretty decent group though right there but the adjustments I made was one and a half minutes of angle down and uh, half minute of angle to the left as the average was about here so that's half one down and then half left and then the second group that I shot after I made those adjustments was right here this was the first shot 
So that was um, that was a flyer, I think. I, I think I might have messed up. I might have flinched or something on that one, that first one. And the second shot was this one, and the sh third was here. So I just took the average of that to be right here, which maybe was a little bit wrong because when I made the adjustments of half minute up and half minute to the right, the third shot, uh, the third shot group was this one here. So the first shot, second shot, and third shot. Okay, so that was the third group. Average was at about over here. So I guess it was pretty, pretty close. Um, but the spread on this third group wasn't that great. But I made adjustments of half minute of angle up and half minute of angle to the left. I probably should have adjusted less than that because the fourth group that I shot was way to the right. Oh, actually, you know what? That Yeah, I don't know. I mess I mess up those adjustments because the the fourth group I shot was way to the right over here. First shot here, which is close. Second shot and third shot right there. So I figured at that point elevation wise, I was okay. So I didn't make any adjustments to the elevation. And then I went one minute of angle to the left after the fourth group. And then the fifth and last group was a pretty decent group. So right there, first shot, second shot, and third shot. That's a pretty close group. That's about a one inch group for my fifth, uh, for my fifth group right there. Um, height wise, I think I was okay. And then I just adjusted just a tiny quarter of a minute of angle up and then uh, I did half angle, half minute of angle to the right. And then I was, uh, I was, I was out of bullets so I didn't get to check that again but I figured that should be good. So we'll see how that goes next time. I've now zeroed my scope turrets. And we'll see how that shoots the next time I get some uh, ammunition and try it out again. But I think we're pretty close. By the way, based on all of this, I think what my issue is right now is probably my shooting fundamentals. Um, I don't think the way that I'm shooting is consistent enough, as you can see from the groups like the only two decent groups I got was the first group and the last group um, the other three were pretty terrible groups like with flyers and inconsistencies like this one was almost a two inch two inch group right here almost which is which is no good so I think I got to work on my fundamentals of shooting and then um, yeah just practice makes perfect it's the first time I've ever shot a precision rifle and 100 yards believe it or not is actually the farthest I've ever shot any firearm yeah, like I just started getting into shooting just this uh, well just like a month ago so I guess not bad for a beginner an absolute noob but needs a lot of work needs a lot of practice so yeah we'll see how how the future goes and I'll practice some more and then hopefully we get better and uh, be able to shoot you know sub moa groups that actually you know oh, first of all i gotta be able to actually hit the target like <laughs> none of these groups even hit hit the, the target that i was intending to hit so let's start with that and then yeah just uh thanks for watching guys i hope you guys continue to join me as uh, as i work on my journey for long range precision shooting thanks again Please subscribe and if you like this content, please smash that like button as well. Leave some comments down below. Let me know. Give me some tips on, on what I could improve on guys. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm brand new to this. So I'm looking forward to hearing uh, all the advice and uh, comments and thoughts that you guys have. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.